My expectations is that Essendon will grab him <laughs> first up. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think it's going to be Collingwood. We're at my parents' house um, prior to, to draft night because Dad was diagnosed with um, asbestos cancer, which isn't good. And I feel like for Dad to miss out on this night would have been terrible. So um, this is a great opportunity that we've been able to, that Dad can see Tyler before the night. Um, and Tyler can, and, he, and he's part of it, you know, this makes him feel part of it because he has been such a, a big influence on Tyler's life. Me and Pop have always had a good relationship. I was a pretty good footballer, as he liked to say back in his days. So <laughs> he always talks about his time and he's uh, giving me advice before I go in to play my games and everything like that. And I always, always come around here and see Pop whenever I can. I just wish him every ounce of luck he can have. He doesn't need luck anyhow, really. But uh, in 12 months' time, they won't be saying, oh, there's Kevin Brown's son, or there's Callum Brown's brother. They'll be saying, oh, oh here comes Tyler. Hello. 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 Like, I remember last year, no one could even fit. Yeah, I remember well, I've been in at work for most of the day, um, but I've rang Tyler um, during the day to see how he was going. He's pretty relaxed. He's a pretty low-key sort of kid. Um, and the others have been um, as they normally are, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty relaxed. The Kerry's um, probably a little bit anxious, but uh, yeah, I mean, having gone through it last year a little bit, we sort of know what to expect um, to a certain degree anyway. Tyler just wanted to have his family, pretty much what, what Callum did last year, just his family. And he's, got a, he's got a couple of his really, really close friends. I think there's about two or three of those that have come around and share it with him. So, um, But he didn't want anything too extravagant, so um, pretty low key. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, how much you put on, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's only a two-seater. Probably a range of emotions. Probably earlier in the day it was, it was more excitement. Now it's probably more, um, yeah, just a little bit nervous, probably. for the AFL industry. Pick six, Collingwood Football Club of pick Jaden Stevenson from East Major Football Club. Yeah, I was really hoping Collingwood would pick me up. Uh, my family all barracks for them. Um, on my mum's side, so it's great to, to go to a club they support. Um, not much of a crier, but I actually got a bit teary. Um, just to be given the opportunity by the Collingwood Football Club is, is just amazing and a dream come true. I'm um, spending time with Cal Brown, who I played with last year at Easton, will be great. And hopefully his brother Tyler gets picked up tonight. You said Mick to be aligned and know how you want to play, not just now, but in one or two years' time. Absolutely. You, you have to be on the same page, and that's key to, to any football department at any level of football. And we just saw then, as the, the boys were chatting and recapping, Nathan Murphy taking a pick 39 by Collingwood. I don't. Yeah. That's work. awesome. <laughs> just wanted to get picked, really. At the end of the day, it's just a number. Um, you go into Monday and the boys won't even know what number you got, and they're just, you picked up. That's, that was my main aim at the end of the night, and it's happened. And to go to a club like Collingwood again, it's just, I couldn't have asked for anything better, really. Welcome to Collingwood, Nathan. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it. Congratulations, mate. Now, you're Sean's boy, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm Sean's boy. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I would, the connection there. Yeah, fantastic, mate. I've already had five uh, text messages for morning telling me I've picked up a game. <laughs> oh, that's good. He mentioned me on TV today, so I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> hey, mate, welcome to the Fires, mate. We're, we're delighted that you're a part of our, our club. You know that we had, we, we had you rank six overall. Yeah, I know, that's it. Yeah, the managers were um, talking to me about that, so it started to get a bit worrying when I was sliding a bit, but um, so yeah, I'm stoked. I thought when it came around, I thought maybe I'm a chance uh, with the Pies at 39, but yeah, I'm just so happy. 
Uh, mate, we're, we're beside ourselves. Australian National Footy League late in the year, so he kept improving. Former state basketballer as well, so still With learning 50, the caper. Port Adelaide has selected Collingwood father-son nominee Tyler Brown from the Eastern Rangers. The selection is now with Collingwood to match Port Adelaide's bid. Oh, give him 20 seconds to match it. <laughs> He's going to be a steal. I like the way this boy goes about it. Port Adelaide. <laughs> This boy actually plays pretty similar to his dad when his dad was just 18 years of age. Uh, Gavin was quite lightly built and then filled out by 19, was a start by 20. That's all the start of the game, so it took 20. With pick 50, Collingwood have matched Port Adelaide's bid for Tyler Brown from the Eastern Rangers. Port Adelaide are back on the clock. I can't believe it, to be honest. Uh, you know, growing up and dad playing for the club, and obviously seeing Cal get drafted last year, just such a great experience so far, and uh, can't wait to get started. And obviously, Port Adelaide bid, and I was pretty nervous. I wasn't sure if Collingwood was going to match it, but um, thank, thank God they did, to be honest. <laughs> Having Cal is a good insight to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. He always comes home, and I always ask him what he did for that day, and um, yeah, it's just great getting knowledge out of him. Did you they weren't going to match it? I was a little bit. Yeah, I was a little worried too. Were you worried? Yeah, I was not worried yeah, yeah, it's pretty exciting, especially for him. I haven't really got a chance to get around to him at the moment. Just, yeah, heaps of people, about 30 people, all family and a few of his mates and stuff, so I've sort of let him just go around to everyone. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked for him. It'd be pretty cool to have him down. I guess me and, me and Ty are pretty close, close in age, and yeah, same sort of personality and stuff, so it'll just be almost like having another mate down there, which would be pretty cool, so yeah. Huh? Don't give any call when you got a few minutes. How you feeling, buddy? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. A bit nervous when Port bid, but you know, yeah, I'm good now. Nah, like we were never going to let you slip through. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thank Congratulations, you. mate. Where are you watching it from? Uh, I'm watching it from home with, with the family, so yeah. Good on you, mate. Uh, thanks. Well, you're about to, you're going to win up the next pick, there you go. You're pick, with a pick 50 in there. Good on you, mate. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, congratulations, mate. It's just great to have you and, and Callum and uh, Mum and Dad down at the club again. And, yeah. you know, your, your family are just legendary at our club. And, you know, I've Callum fought on beautifully after the illness last year and everything and yeah. got himself going. And, mate, uh, come down and just, you know, I don't have to tell you because you, 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 know, you know exactly what's required. Get stuck in, mate. And make a name for yourself, OK? Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Daddy. Good on you, mate. I look forward to seeing it, mate. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations, mate. Have a great night. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah, I was saying to someone last night, it's almost you feel like six weeks ago you sit through and after our delistings. Um, it's almost like this is the start of the life cycle. Really important those first couple of days that we provide them with a bit of information about the club. Um, the big one for mine is also just setting strong standards early on. So what we expect from our players, not so much on the field, but probably more the way they handle themselves, um, both here at the club and outside of the club. So expectations, standards, simple things like no phones in meetings, punctuality, little things like that that we reckon are really important to set the scene early. Um, so it's important that in those first couple of days when they're out of the program, we can um, start to live some of those values. Boys, on the, on the yellow line, warm up in here and we'll go straight outside and get stuck into your 2K up. Let's go, boys. On the yeah, it was a bit of a late move. We sort of didn't want to have too much anxiety about it with the 2K up. So we sort of got him in there straight away and most of the boys, to their credit, have been keeping pretty fit. So it wasn't too much of a, a shock for them. But we thought it was good for them to do it with the whole group, just so they can run as a group and get to know some of the other boys as well. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really know um, who was going to set the standard and kind of where to run. Just tried to pace myself, I guess, a bit. But um, Jaden Stevenson went out pretty hard. I was looking, we ran a pretty similar time at the combine, so I was kind of looking to match him a bit. But um, I think he's still recovering from the cruise that he went on a couple of weeks ago. So, um, but yeah, it was just, just to get out there and stuff and um, get used to the ground and the running and stuff. But, um, I was pretty happy, yeah, ran about a 6.32, so I was pretty happy with that first up. 6.36. Oh, 
So after the national draft on uh, Friday, we basically came back here over the weekend and did some work on the uh, potential players we're looking at today, and um, we've brought in three new players as part of that process. Selection six, Collingwood. Player seven one zero five one zero, Flynn Appleby, GWV Rebels, Kahuna Kangas. So with the first pick, we took Flynn Appleby, who's a defender from the um, GWV Rebels. He's originally from Kahuna. What we really liked about him was during the year he played on Jared Brander, Noah Bolter, Kale Kirby, played on really different types and did a really good job on all of them. He's a type of defender that can play on talls and smalls. The other thing that really appealed was his character. Everyone we spoke to raved about him as a kid and um, we think he's really going to complement our program. Selection 22, Collingwood. Player 710008. Brody Majacek, Port Melbourne, Bernie Dockers. With our second selection, we took Brody Majacek from Port Melbourne. Brody's a great story. I mean, he was an All-Australian under 18 back in 2011, and then he spent time playing in Tasmania, and then he's come across to the VFL and played at Werribee and Port Melbourne. And every year, he's just improved. He's never given up on the dream of being drafted, and for the last two or three years, he's really matched it against AFL-listed players and shown he's more than capable. But we just feel with Brody, he's the type of guy that really deserved a chance. He's done all the hard yards and um, I really think he's only going to thrive in a full-time professional environment. G'day, Dom. G'day, Brody. Welcome to the Collingwood Football Club. Thank you. How are you feeling, mate? Oh, overwhelmed. <laughs> I can oh, imagine, I'm mate. I mean, now I know what everyone else feels. Yeah, it's, it's been a long yeah. journey, mate. You've done it the hard way, yeah. so it's a credit to you. We're, we're absolutely yeah. stoked, mate. We're, I'm really pleased to have you on board. Sort of in the midst of all the other calls, I managed to pick up the one that said Don Malisi and uh, just picking up, he said congratulations. And I've waited so long to see my name get called out. And uh, I don't know, following that call, there was Eddie Maguire and Nathan Buckley, so getting texts from all the players, so it's pretty surreal to, to have all that happen in a couple of hours. Just got to put in the hard work and uh, obviously know there's a lot more improvement in myself and uh, I'm up for the challenge and uh, I love the training side of everything and to have it as a full-time job is a lot easier than working. And then going to train and, uh, and getting home at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, so I don't know the time I put in outside, outside of work there, I'll put in here and plus more and yeah, really looking forward to it.